everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you everything I eat as a vegan on a typical school day for me. For those of you who don't know, I'm a graduate student studying physical therapy. And right now I am currently on my way to school. I ride my bike to school and it's about a 20 minute bike ride. I haven't eaten or really had too much to drink just yet just because I prefer to ride my bike on an empty stomach. I just feel like it feels a little better. So I packed my breakfast and lunch with me and I have a few snacks too. I always like to pack my lunch box the night before because it's one less thing I have to worry about in the morning. And then once I get to school, I usually fill up my water bottle and I drink about a liter of water like I always like to do before I start my morning then I just take my vitamins that I normally take and I eat my breakfast and so for breakfast today I packed some overnight oatmeal I always pack overnight oatmeal I just recently posted a recipe video for four overnight oats recipes so you guys should totally check that out if you eat overnight oats in the morning this oatmeal that I'm eating right here is most similar to the green goddess recipe that is in that video but I did add some molasses and a little bit of cranberries and raisins just because I was feeling fruity I typically eat my breakfast sometime between 9 and 10 a.m. Uh, my classes start around 9, but my teachers usually give us a 10 minute break or so halfway through, so whenever I have that break, I just eat my breakfast, and it's given my water plenty of time to digest and get out of my system. I love eating overnight oats for breakfast because I feel like this is super filling and super easy to make, and I never have to worry about getting hungry before my class ends and before I have time for lunch. Okay, I came outside because it's kind of weird to talk in the classroom, but I just wanted to show you guys what I brought for my lunch today. So for lunch, I just had this Tupperware full of beans and rice. Um, it is a brown rice, and I mix it with a little wild rice, and then I made the beans myself. They are red kidney beans, and I just cooked them with some garlic, cilantro, carrots, and celery to give it a little bit more flavor. And I just mixed the two together so the rice wouldn't dry out. And honestly, guys, I eat beans and rice like every single day for lunch. Like I said, with breakfast, it's those complex carbohydrates that keep me full through the afternoon, and I don't have to worry about getting hungry. Oh, and I also had an apple for lunch as a little bit of a snack. And speaking of snacks, I always carry some extra snacks in my backpack in case I ever have to stay late after class or I just get more hungry. Um, this week, I just happened to have a bag of some almonds and this little healthy energy slash snack bar. All right, so I biked back home and got out of class a little while ago. Um, when I get home, usually depends on the day. It can be anywhere from like 3 p.m. to around 4.30 p.m. And I am about to cook my dinner, so I will show you guys what I'm making. Okay, so I'm going to be mixing a bunch of vegetables together and making hash browns. I just have half of a bag. Um, the only ingredient is this is potatoes. And I'm just going to add some carrot, some kale, some broccoli that I have already cooked. And to season it, for now, I'm just going to use some garlic powder and some nutritional yeast. And I'm just gonna mix everything up in this bowl and then put it onto this nonstick silicone baking tray. And I am currently heating my oven up to 450. I really do like the silicone baking mat because it really caramelizes things and makes them more crispy. But I will show you guys what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Okay, here is the final product. I put it on a bed of some spinach and arugula and I topped it with some fresh tomatoes, a drizzle of tahini, and sriracha. I am so excited to eat this. You guys have no idea. I'll give it a taste test for you guys. The kale got like really really crispy so it's almost like a kale chip and then the other vegetables the potatoes are crispy too um but the other vegetables are still kind of soft so it's like a really nice contrast and the tahini just makes it perfectly creamy and the sriracha i got more over here makes it nice and spicy so perfect meal for me honestly as a busy student some nights my dinner does not look this fancy i'll just like cook potatoes in the oven and i'll eat them with a head of romaine lettuce or a side of leafy greens like being vegan does not have to be complicated it does not have to be expensive guys especially as a vegan student i know we're all on a budget and realistically the cheapest foods are the vegan foods like buy those rice and beans buy those potatoes just get some hot sauce and there you go you have an awesome meal you don't have to make it complicated at all 
all done. All right guys, that is everything that I ate today as a vegan student. I hope you found this video informative and helpful and hopefully it gave you guys some inspiration for recipes you can make if you're on a more tight budget or on a tighter schedule. Be sure to like this video and click that little red button over there if you wanna see more videos like this. And if you guys have any other video suggestions, leave them in the comments below as well. I love talking to you guys through the comments. I feel like that's how I get to know you. But as always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.